You've heard it before, Hollywood on the North Coast. Local film industry leaders have been dreaming about that for decades. But holding the region back from becoming a film and television production hub has been the lack of studio space and the lack of workforce with experience in the movie making trades. Now, as Mark Namick, I'm sorry, go ahead, Sarah. It's your turn. It says Sarah up there, <laughs> I apologize. But as Mark Namick reports, as Russ was saying, in a three news exclusive, when LA director with Cleveland Roots has been quietly producing a plan to put a soundstage on the city's east side that would also double as a hands-on film school. Marquette Williams, a Clevelander who went to L.A., now pointing his viewfinder at his hometown. There's not a lot of urban backlots. There's not a lot of urban areas that you can film in from a cinematic standpoint. His vision is about much more than making television shows and movies here. He's directing a cast that includes a financial consultant, a developer, industry insiders, and those helping the unemployed. How do we create a perfect ecosystem for social and economic impact, right? We, we all want to help people, but you still have to make money. You have to create a mechanism by which rich people who have capital gains can put that money into the hood. Together, they're trying to create a blockbuster called Cinema City, a Hollywood in Cleveland that includes a soundstage, housing, retail, and workspace for artists. We looked at it through art, right? Art as a form of education, art as a form of activism, art as an economic lever. Their mission, make profitable movies while training local residents to become boom operators, grips, production assistants, and other on-set employees. Action rehearsal. Though he's not ready to yell action, he's got a deal in place for 12 and a half acres just east of downtown and commitments for the bulk of the $45 million estimated cost of building. His groundbreaking was slowed by the loss of a key financial backer who pulled out during the pandemic, though talks are underway with a new underwriter. The financing deal relies on new federal tax breaks and incentives for those willing to put money into poor neighborhoods designated as opportunity zones, like this area, overlooked but full of potential. Managing the deal is Radhika Reddy, a financial consultant and developer with a track record of urban projects. We're creating a whole new industry where you're going to have uh, job creation, union jobs created, so I think that will be a great legacy for Cleveland. Hollywood will come to Cleveland, Williams argues, because the film industry desperately needs production space and workers. When you're building a destination, which is basically what we're doing, you got to start with the heartbeat of it, right? What's going to pump out money? What's going to pump out um, opportunity? What's going to pump out change, right? So the studio is kind of the heart of that. Williams is already delivering on his vision to train people. In April, a low-budget horror film was shot here using the first wave of trainees. You can't ask the Russo brothers, no matter how much they love Cleveland, to come here and risk $50 million on people who don't know, right? Catherine Pace, who worked with her father, developer Dick Pace on city projects, is helping coordinate workforce efforts and is a producer in training herself. We're all excited about it. We're all motivated with the expertise from everyone having such different backgrounds uh, career-wise and where we've all come from. I see us being able to overcome any challenge that comes. Also helping Williams bring Cinema City to life is Baltimore-based communications consultant and television producer Jeff Johnson, a Cleveland native. But this isn't a pipe dream. This is real, and it's now. And so this is about how are we leveraging Cleveland as probably number four or five in, in television and film location and creating a, a better offering. Williams hopes to have land and finance deals done soon and start construction next year. I'm Mark Namick. 3 News.